Yes. What is it you want? Come on, man, out with it. Name's Ronesco. Just tell me what it is you want you... Well, whatever it is you are, you look like one of those sun-worshipping primates under all that get-up. A person's past ain't a smart topic of conversation here in New Reno. Now, what is it you want? Look, I'm a busy man. So? And? And the second part was? Just testing you. There is no second part. Well, if Zaya sent you, I suppose I have some parts to spare. Here you go. Don't drop them. Look, I'm a busy man. I sell recreational drugs, mostly. That's why they give me that idiotic appellation, the Rocket Man. Hmm. I also sell some caravan supplies. You need anything, or can I get back to something important? I sell recreational drugs, mostly. That's why they give me that idiotic appellation, the Rocket Man. Hmm. I also sell some caravan supplies. You need anything, or can I get back to something imp- If it isn't Reno's most famous prize fighter, what's your pleasure today, sir? Wonderful. I'll give you 500 for the set. Really? Hmm. Well, it looks like you have two of them, so you can have this one back. But let me get the stain out first. Happens all the time around here. Mostly to the sheets. That should do it. Good issue. Has an article on energy weapons, it looks like. Here you go.
Greetings, human. This base is on full alert. Are you by any chance the cause? I am Zahn, Pack Warrior. Allow me to join you and fight at your side for our freedom. Together we stand a chance. Alone. Who knows? Very well. The Enclave created my people as a slave warrior race. They enhanced our intellect, hoping we could better understand their commands, and yet not recognize our status as slaves. They failed. We are much more intelligent than they suspect. We decided to play the fool until we could gain our freedom. Our chance arrived when the Enclave decided to test us outside their control. Here on the mainland, Dr. Schreiber opposed their decision, but he was overruled. Not accepting the Enclave decision, he chose exile to the space, captured me, and has been performing experiments to determine my true nature. He has been successful. When he reports his findings to the Enclave, my people will be hunted down and slain. I must escape and warn my people. I thank you, human. Let us kick some Enclave ass at Gruthar. Yes, Master?
Something else you wanted? Yeah? What? Chosen, the shadow of darkness arrived before you. Too many seasons and too many wounds, Chosen. Instead, you must listen. Dark souls came. They took everyone. A rush of wind came. On it were great dragonflies that spat flame. Evil men crawled from the beasts' bellies and brought death to our warriors. The spirit was willing, but the spearheads were weak. The evil ones burned our warriors with the lights of hell. All were dead or taken. My spirit returned to flesh only to reveal the truth to the chosen. A strange mist stole their minds and sent them to the land of sleep. The evil ones walked among the dreamers, yet did not dream. The beasts swallowed all, then took to the winds. Did you never listen when I taught you the yearly dance of the wind spirits? South, of course. Yes, they traveled the wind south. I overheard the Dark Soul speaking. They plan to rest their beasts at a place named Navarro before crossing the great basin of our Earth Mother's tears. An ocean of tears cried by a mother for her children. For me, nothing. Chosen, you must seek the fold of the Dark Ones and rescue our people. You are the Chosen. You must do.
Hello, wanderer. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? We know many things. What can I do for you? We are a paramilitary organization known as the Brotherhood of Steel. At one time, we were the sole bastions of technology left on the planet. We set ourselves up as what could be best called technology police. We hoarded the old knowledge and only doled it out in small parcels. Of course, it was only to those we felt deserved it and had the wisdom to properly use it. Several months ago, we came across a group known as the Enclave. Much to our surprise, their love of technology surpassed even our own. We found this quite disturbing and considered contacting them. However, we decided on a more cautious course of action until we could determine exactly who the Enclave was and the underlying purpose of their organization. To this end, we have reactivated small outposts near areas of Enclave activity from which we can safely observe them. Currently, we have activated such outposts in the DEN, the NCR, and here in San Francisco. We have found that the Enclave deals heavily in drugs, weapons, and slaves. However, these are simply trivial pursuits leading up to some higher purpose, which we have failed to uncover. We are still watching them. <sighs> the Enclave has developed Vertibird technology. Flying machines that allow them to move deeply into surrounding territories. Without similar technology to counter this threat, the Brotherhood would be unable to stop an invasion launched by the Enclave. We need to have vertebrate technology, or a viable counter to it, for ourselves. Now, recently the Enclave established a base north of here called Navarro. It's used as a stopover point for the maintenance and refueling of the vertebrates. It's my belief that such a base may have complete technical plans of the vertebrates. All I need is for someone to infiltrate the base, steal the plans, and bring them here to me. Let me be frank with you, Wanderer. The Brotherhood of Steel is not the power that we once were. We believed ourselves to be the sole source of technology left to mankind. Secure in this belief, we have let our order decline over the years. Now, we don't have the resources at our disposal to deal with the Enclave. We need your help. I am prepared to make you this offer. Perform this mission for me and I will grant you access to our facility here. The best of Brotherhood technology will be made available to you, exclusively. What do you say? Excellent. Here's what I need you to do. Go to Navarro, infiltrate their base, and recover the technical plans for the Vertibirds. Return the plans to me. Upon successful completion of your mission, I will grant you access to our facility here. In the meantime, it would be best if you got started immediately. Thank you, Wanderer. What can I do for you? We've had this base for years. By maintaining it at a low level with minimal staffing, never drawing attention to ourselves, we have achieved anonymity. We leave the she alone, and they leave us alone. What can I do for you? Too many people in one place can attract attention. One man in a city of many men is less noticeable. What can I do for you? Have you completed your mission? Excellent work! Let me have the plans, and I'll make a copy of them. As promised, I'll give you full access to our facilities. Thank you.
Welcome to my shop, Flying Dragon 8. I'm Lao Cho. I run this establishment, Flying Dragon 8, a general store. I have been known to trade in information. Little happens in this town that I do not know about. Of course, you must know the right question to ask, yes? What do you need to know? Well, none of our boats are capable of that kind of distance, unless... They did not. They came from the north and flew over us, heading out over- Unless you can get the old tanker on the docks working. It's an old ship, but probably still functional if some work is put into it. Ask the punks for more information. Even if you could get the navcom working and the tanker fueled up, you still need considerable good fortune if you really want to get the ship to sail again. I mean, the hunk of junk is older than most ghouls. It would be a miracle if it didn't sink on you. That is all I meant. Perhaps there is. Perhaps the wasteland has made you paranoid. Bah, they are nothing. However, it's not the tanker that's special. It's just a big rusty tanker like you said. A submarine on the other hand. The Shi Huangti. My great-grandfather, Ye Li, was its captain. He unleashed her nuclear fires like a horrible dragon upon California's coast. Ironically, a malfunctioning missile from our own ancestral nation went off course and exploded over the ocean near the submarine's location. The blast knocked out the Shi Huang Ti systems, leaving Captain Ye Li and his crew stranded at sea. But there was salvation. After weeks of drifting, the sub finally came to rest out of the shallow waters of the San Francisco Bay. This city became our new home. We eventually restored the Shi Huang Ti, its targeting systems, its weapons. It has enough firepower to blow any potential invaders out of the water. So even if you got that old tinker running, it wouldn't get far as the submarine would destroy any non-Chinese vessel that sails through the bay. You swim. Or take the motorboat as a docks. It is guarded though by one of our best soldiers, and he will not let an outsider like you pass them. He's under strict orders to guard it 24-7. He will not let anyone without the right password through. That depends. I don't suppose you have 10,000 to ensure the continued prosperity of my shop? Ah, much appreciated. The password is XY8Q. IV2SHI. Others may be watching me after this, so don't forget the password. If we ever discuss it again, I'll need more money for bribes. What can I do for you? I'm loud. Little happened. A spleen? Haha, <laughs> yes. Chip from the Valdez lost his spleen in the card game the other day. I sold it to Dr. Wong. He was fascinated by it. Dr. Wong is the head scientist in the Steel Palace. Seek him there. He was drunk. Very, very drunk. He was obsessed with his spleen all night long, and then he bet it. Yes, it was a debt. He is an honorable man. What would you like, friend? I am Ken Li. I am the advisor to the Emperor of the Shi. I bring forth the wisdom of the Emperor. And who are you? Not everyone is granted a chance to see the Emperor. You must first prove your worth. Are you willing to prove yours? Excellent. This is what I require of you. There is a small military base north of here, called Navarro. There are numerous vertebrates there. We need plans and blueprints to manufacture some of our own. Fetch those and you will be on your way to seeing the Emperor. Once you have attained the vertebrate plans, give them to Dr. Wong Yitze. He will put them to good use.
Thank you for the vertebrate plans, traveler. What can I do for you? You must complete a second test. The herbologists are our enemies. Their leader, AHS-9, has been abducting and brainwashing our children. Kill him for the good of the Xi, and I shall tell you how to speak to the Emperor. I am anxious to see the result of your attempt. Good day. Your embergled aura tells me that you've come here, meaning me no good. Tell me, child, do you wish to profit from your venture? This, then, is my bargain. Return to the Shi and eliminate Ken Li and the Emperor. I will repay you with more money than you have ever dreamed. Then go and smite those troublesome souls. I await word of your success. Have you completed your task? Your future and that of the wheel on this planet depend on it. Ah, a letter from my field agent. Pity she calls herself the Enlightened One. It shows that she truly is not enlightened. With the death of AHS-9, the Great and Terrible, the herbologist posed no real threat to us and our researches. Well done. You have our gratitude. Would you like to speak to the Emperor? You have proven yourself to be a friend to the Xi. I believe I can trust you with our secrets. In the back room, you will find the force field to the large computer has been turned off. Enter the password. CSPDMSHR Shi Huang Di X9372 and you will find yourself connected to the Emperor computer. I hope this will prove useful to you. Yes, it stores our history, our research, and projects possibilities for the future. It is far better than any fallible human, yet we temper its suggestions with our own knowledge of human nature.
I heard what you did for my men. Thanks. What can I help you with? This ship's a Poseidon tanker. It's equipped with tech that lasted through the war. It's got a FOB that allows access to the navigation computer room, and it's got an IFF transponder that protects it from Poseidon guns. Course, that ain't gonna help you any against that old Chinese sub. So you best hope that thing's as dead as she looks. I used to serve with the Enclave. Then I realized it wasn't the USA I was fighting for. It was for the rich old bastards who didn't want to give up their power. I deserted, and now I live here, with more honest people. Yes, with these people you know exactly where you stand. They don't play games. The Enclave was like a pack of hyenas. They'd turn on you in a second. The Enclave is remnants of old times. If you take this thing across the water to the rig, you'll find out for yourself. How do you pilot this rig? Fill her up with some gas. Try the hobologist or the she after you've taken care of everything else. And press the button. The computer will take care of the rest, if it's still working. It'll sail right out to the oil rig, unless the old sub blows it up. But at least you won't have to worry about the Enclave firing at you, because you've got the IFF transponder. Just make sure you've got everything you need to access everything. FOB, working computer, and fuel. Easy enough, huh? IFF. Identify friend or foe. It means that this ship is identified as a friend, so other Poseidon things, like say, an oil rig, won't fire at you when you come into range. Oh, and an FOB is some sort of enclave technology that lets you enter a door electronically. You'd probably find them at one of their bases, or some such place. There's a big Poseidon oil rig left out on the water. That's the final base of the Enclave, and unless I miss my bet, that's where your friends are too. Beats me. I was a Navarro tech, not a rig operator. We talked to them over the comm lines, and... that was about the extent of it. Oh yeah, you gotta get the navigation computer working as well. I bet you'd find parts for it in one of those old vaults.